The GalvaShield Surface Mounted DAS is an efficient, dependable, and sustainable solution to combat corrosion in reinforced concrete structures. The following procedure can be completed with just one person, though we recommend two or more for optimal efficiency. Before starting the installation, ensure that the concrete surface is clean and even. Complete any necessary concrete repairs and remove any dirt, loose barriers, or coatings. The surface must not have any relief changes of more than 3 mm or 1 8 inch. Blow the surface clean of any dust and blast media with dry compressed air and vacuum clean if required. Determine the location for the anode installation and use a chalk line to mark the top line of the anodes. Along the length of the anode installation, use a rebar locating device to find reinforcing steel to make a connection within 100 mm or 4 inches of each end of the anode. If you are linking multiple units together, consult the technical datasheet or the engineer for steel connection requirements and maximum spacing. The GalvaShield surface mounted DAS can optionally be installed using our mounting track kit. If you are not using this kit, skip to step 4B. Install the mounting track along the chalk line, placing it near the center of the desired anode location. Mark the points for the drilled holes for the concrete anchors using the holes on the mounting track. Drill a 6 mm or 1 quarter inch hole at each mark. Once the holes have been drilled, anchor the mounting track with supplied anchors. Avoid over-tightening to prevent deformation of the mounting track. If the mounting track was used, hang the anode onto the mounting track and position it to mark locations for drilling anchor holes. Remove the anode from the mounting track and drill the marked locations with a 6 mm or 1 quarter inch drill bit. When installing without the mounting track, hold the anode in position. Then mark locations for drilling anchor holes. Mark the remaining anchor holes located on the wiring track of the anode. Remove the anode and drill the marked locations with a 4 mm or 5 32nd inch drill bit. Use GalvaShield embedding mortar to fill the area between the anode and the surface of the concrete. Mix the mortar as directed by the technical data sheet. If the concrete surface contains large voids or depressions, fill them with mortar to ensure no air gaps are left behind the anode. Use the custom V-notch trowel tool to spread the mortar completely along the entire length of the anode, leaving a ridged profile of the mortar to ensure proper bonding of the anode to the concrete. Prior to the installation of the anode, the concrete must be wet with water to a point where surface-saturated dry conditions are achieved. Ensure no standing water. Carefully line up the anode to the drilled anchor holes. The mounting track can be used to help with alignment. Press the anode firmly onto the concrete, allowing mortar to spread out under the anode and eliminating any voids or gaps. Fasten the anode to the concrete using the supplied anchors. Make connections to steel as per engineer's instructions. Anode wires are connected to the steel connections at both ends of the anode using the wiring connector provided. If the anode connection wire requires insulation stripping, remove the insulation to the length specified by the connector. Lift levers fully and place wires onto the connector. One wire per connection hole. Fold down the levers and firmly click into the locked position. Test the connection by lightly tugging each wire. Encapsulate the entire connection inside of the gel-filled insulation box provided, closing firmly. Once the anode is firmly anchored, install wiring track cover strips. Strips can be installed by sliding them in from the end, and the curved lip should be toward the outer edge of the anode. Alternatively, it can be placed on the wiring track and tapped into place with a rubber hammer or mallet. End caps are installed over the anode connections by either sliding over the ends or clicking over the top. The cap should cover the steel connection location and the anode to steel connection. The cap is then secured in place with two concrete anchors, taking care not to interfere with the anode or steel connections. The cap should be sealed to the concrete surface and the anode surface with caulking or epoxy. For more information, please contact your local specialist found at vector-corrosion.com.